Hey there, internet. Well, we're back at the old CNC machine. Got some Delrin snow, and that must mean that we're making more gears. So today, I thought uh, we'd give a try the old herringbone gear. Uh, these are really traditionally very hard to make, but I'm gonna try to use my A axis straight flank cutter method, the, AKA the virtual shaper on the old CNC machine. And we're gonna try to cut a helical gear, uh, a right and a left helical gear, and when you put them on the same piece of material, uh, that actually is gonna make you a herringbone gear. So, uh, let's head on over to the old computer, and I'll show you the updated uh, code that uh, generates the toolpath that'll make this work. Here's the old virtual shaper. The additions are uh, uh, having a file name, so this is going to save it to out.nc. Then there's a preamble, so you can do stuff like start your spindle and a postamble, so you can stop it. The other big change here is that the the G code is essentially going to move the cutter to the right as it rotates. And then when it gets to the midpoint, it's going to rotate the A axis in the opposite direction as it continues to move to the right. And then on the next iteration, that's what this times minus one here is, uh, it'll rotate the opposite direction to the middle and then it'll flip it back as it moves back. So it, it can actually cut in both directions. I can make this configurable, but uh, you know, this, for this test, this works pretty well. So if you were just doing a regular herringbone, uh, instead of rotating back the other way, you would just uh, you would just uh, cut the other direction. So uh, this is working okay. There's some weird issue where if I have the pressure angle at 30 degrees, the whole thing crashes. I have no idea what what that is, but uh, the pressure angle doesn't affect any of the other calculations other than the the rendering of the gear profile. And uh, unfortunately, the only way for me to render this helical or the herringbone profile is to actually have it, you know, go step by step and model this as a cone and do all the cuts. Uh, unfortunately, it, the way that this particular uh, CAD query thing works, it creates a new object every time you do that. It's just not made for animation. So uh, the real thing, we'll take a look on the old CNC machine. You can see how this thing actually moves as we uh, progress through the uh, program. Here's the dirty finger view of what we actually just cut, the tooth form. Now, it's somewhat it's somewhat smeared here because as the as the cutter moves back to its original position, it moves up, and then the gear turns this way. So there's a little tiny cut right here, and on this side, you can see that you, the tooth form is much more clear and you can see we have a good flank on here this is only 14 steps so you can actually get this uh, flank shape a bit more dialed in with more steps 14 steps uh, back and forth so again this is a straight flank cutter 
And um, if you try to do this with a ball nose cutter, well, you couldn't get in there, number one. Um, but number two, I don't know how many steps it would take. I've seen some people try it, and it doesn't look great. But I think this looks pretty good. And um, we, do have, uh, we do have meshing, uh, not in this orientation. If I put it in that orientation, we, we have it meshing here. So uh, this uh, cutter has, a, has a, had a bit of an upward helix on the cutter. This one kind of had a straight flank, and I ground this one myself um, to, to kind of tweak the tip diameter, and it just wasn't doing a good job cutting. It was kind of just none of the, the chips weren't really coming off, and I had a bunch of, uh, you can see these little, these little hanger-on things. There's no good way to get rid of those. But this one, uh, much less um, burring, and uh, the tooth form looks pretty good. So... Let's take a look and see how it meshes. All right, looks like it actually meshes. Somewhat amazing. The cutter that I chose for this one obviously had some issues. Um, this this cut much much better. This one wasn't really creating a chip, and there was a whole bunch of issues there, uh, as you can see here. But I mean, the tooth form is on there, and uh, it should be somewhat correct, other than the debris that wasn't really released as chips. So let's, uh, let's spin it and see what happens. We've got a little wobblation here. Um, if I disengage them a little bit, the noise cuts down pretty substantially. But you can see the, the backlash here. There's a decent amount of backlash. And I can crank them up. Let's get rid of all the backlash. That's, that's about as much as I'm willing to get rid of. Let's turn that on. So we got an issue here. Probably some junk in, the, in between the teeth. See, this is kind of rolled over here causing some problems. But it's better than it was. Let's try it. Run it. Yeah, I still got a maybe a add around issue. Just backed it off a little bit. All right, that was 800 RPMs, and uh, it's not really making any gear noise, which is good. So, I, yeah, I mean, I <laughs> this technique works. Um, I think it's it's got room for improvement. Uh, if th if this works, I can definitely do herringbone gears. Um, I just need to figure out a better way to calculate the angle because the angle is dependent on the circuit the uh, pitch diameter of the gear. So I got to figure out how to calculate that and then um, a bunch of the G code that I, or not, a bunch of the Python that I wrote uh, got deleted accidentally because the programming, I don't know, because it, it's just a stupid thing. Like it, it, <laughs> it runs your program but it doesn't save it, which like every IDE actually saves your code before it runs it. Uh, this one doesn't, so I was working on it all morning, and then I decided to make a change. It crashed, and I lost all my code. So anyway, I have a bunch of stuff to fix there. But I think, for the most part, like, I don't know of a more practical way to cut herringbone gears on uh, kind of commodity CNC equipment and not buying a gear cutter. So I'd say that this is a big success.